Zach's Rank Buys starts with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Growth and Income Stock Time once again with our Growth and Income Stock Strategist here at Zacks.com, Todd Bunton, who joins us to profile a couple of companies that he's written about recently. The first one being Wolverine Worldwide, three W's, the ticker symbol. They are an apparel manufacturer. That's right. They, they do a lot of footwear. Uh, so they're famous for their Wolverine boots, uh, hush puppy shoes. They do a lot of outdoor uh, shoes too. They also do some apparel. Mm -hmm. uh, the company is based out of Michigan. They've been seeing a lot of strong momentum lately. Uh, the company reported third quarter earnings per share of 70 cents. That was up 13 percent over the same quarter in 2009. Now it beat the Zacks consensus by three cents, marked the third consecutive positive earnings surprise. Uh, revenue growth was strong across pretty much every segment. The Wolverine boot division was up 23 percent. Well, they so, got to work out uh, this past few days with all the snow that's been falling oh, yeah. up that way. Yeah, I'm sure they're they're seeing an uptick in sales. Uh, management actually raised guidance off the strong quarter, and they mentioned that momentum continues to build across across their whole company. So, mm -hmm. so you're seeing bullish bullishness from them. They raised their guidance uh, from they they were at a dollar ninety eight to two oh four a share. They upped it to two oh four to two oh eight a share. Now the Zach's consensus is slightly above that at 211. That represents about 19% earnings per share growth. Uh, 2011 estimate is 8% higher. So you're seeing good double digit earnings per share growth there. And when we look at the income picture, you can see since 2000 they've raised, they've a averaged about a 17% uh, annual dividend rate. So that's that's been excellent. But in 2008 they stopped raising, um, but their, their payout ratio is just 21 percent, so as long as their business continues to pick up, you should see an uptick in their dividend there. Uh, they yield about 1.4 percent, and in terms of valuation, they're trading at about 15 times forward estimates with a peg ratio of one, so that looks very attractive as well. And if the snow continues to fly going forward? That's right. Who knows? Sky might be the limit, so That's to right. speak, for them. Nina Paper, NP, the ticker symbol, another company you've written about recently. Uh, they're a paper company. That's right. They, <laughs> they manufacture paper, um, all things paper. They were founded in 2004, so they're relatively young. Uh, they went public in 05. They have a market cap of less than 300 million, so it's a, it's a smaller name. But they've, they've been seeing an uptake in business as well. Uh, their third quarter came in at 30 cents a share. Uh, that was up 30 percent over the same quarter in 2009, and that crushed the Zaxxon census by 50 percent. Uh, net sales were up a solid 8 percent. Uh, that was on higher prices and volumes. And the gross margin actually contracted a bit in the quarter, and that was due to higher commodity prices. That, that affects Nina, especially pulp prices. Uh, so their gross margin did contract a little bit, but the company was able to control its administrative expenses, so operating income was still up 9% year over year. When we look at the estimates picture, we can see uh, estimates have been rising over the last few days, or last few months, I should say. Uh, Analysts are expecting 87% earnings growth in 2010, and the 2011 estimate corresponds to about 15% growth. So you're seeing solid double-digit growth, not something you'd expect from a paper company. Mm -hmm. The company's also been paying down a lot of long-term debt, but it still had room to increase its dividend for the first time since 2005. Uh, with, with Nina, you get about a 2.1% dividend yield. And in terms of valuation, they're trading at about 13.7 times forward estimates. That's in line with the peers, and very reasonable. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you own either of these two? I do not. All right. Check out more Zach's Rank Buy stock pick ideas for yourself at our homepage, Zach's.com. We put four new ideas up there for you daily, one in each of the investing categories that we write about. With Todd Bunton, I'm Terry Ruffalo.